Good morning, Technology Class 667. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to listen to this information on the IRIS Recognition Scanner. It is the most precise form of biometric identification available. As always, should you or any of your classmates fall asleep or grow bored, the informant will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This clip will self-destruct in three minutes. Good luck. This may not be an impossible mission, but the use of iris scanners for identification certainly sounds like something that would only be found in a movie. The idea of using patterns in the iris for personal identification was actually first suggested in 1936 by Frank Birch. It was over 50 years later before Leonard Flom and Arand Safer were given a patent for this idea. John Dogman, a Cambridge University professor, was then asked to create an algorithm for iris recognition. He received a patent in 1994 and the product was available the next year. An iris scan is simply a digital photograph that is taken and then used to identify about 240 unique features of the iris. This information is then changed into a 512 digit number called an iris code. An iris scanner, such as one made by the Stanley Security Solutions, can accurately recognize 50 people in about one minute. Iris recognition has many other benefits besides speed. Its accuracy is unbeatable. This is because after the age of one, the iris remains unchanged. Stanley Security Systems claim its iris scanners are 200 times more accurate than fingerprints. They boast the eyes have it. Iris scanners are being used at many airports, by police departments, and prison systems. But schools are now considering the benefits of iris recognition as well. There are no worries for parents whose children attend schools using the blink spot. This iris recognition tool is used to check and monitor that students have boarded the correct bus. Parents then receive an email making them aware of their child's exact location. Educators have also expressed interest in using this technology for students who sign out during their lunch period. This would put a stop to students signing others back in who are really skipping class. Did you ever get to the dining hall and realize your student ID was not in your pocket? Well, there will be no such anxieties for freshman students at Winthrop University in South Carolina. The school is testing an iris recognition program this year. I hope that you have successfully completed this mission and gained some knowledge of iris recognition scanners.